Hi guys, today we're gonna to be working on some junior exercises. This is also good for adult curlers as well that are just starting out, but we're gonna work through a progression um, in order to work on balance uh, for our curlers today. So we'll start with the sideboards, doing the stance, the sliding stance, trying to gain our balance. Then we will pull them with a broom and allowing them to just focus on being in the proper slide position. And then we will move on to the, uh, put, having them push from the hack with a stabilizer to hold on to that way they can transition from just being in the slide position to actually pushing themselves out of the hack into that, transitioning into that slide position. And it will really help uh, tie it all together mentally, making those connections from pushing out from the hack to being into the slide position. Because a lot of times, especially with new curlers, they wanna push out from the hack and they're not thinking about the next step, which is being in that slide position. Um, so in order to alleviate some of that frustration, we, I pull them in that second exercise, I will pull them with a broom. They just hold on to the broom. That way they can get fully extended into that slide position uh, without the added uh, complexity of pushing out of the, of the hack to get into that position. So they can create that muscle memory of just being in the slide position without having to push out from the hack. And then we move on to pushing out to the hack from the hack in order to get into that position. Okay, Max, let's do our first uh, exercise. We did a little warm up previously. So now we are going to do our first uh, exercise in our progression. Let's do the, uh, get on the backboard here, slide her up against the backboard. Okay, let's just bend down like we were gonna deliver a stone. Hands here, put our gripper foot back, trailing foot back, look up, arch your back down, your butt down, knee off the ice, Knee off the ice, lift your hands. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, let's stand up. Let's get back down, let's put our gripper foot against the, the board, and we'll do the other side. Down, butt down, up. Try to put all your weight on your heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. Let's do one more side on the other, on the slider foot. Good job. Okay. That's good for that. Now, the next one. So after we've done that first exercise, they have a feeling of what it's like to be on the heel of their foot in the slide position. So now what we wanna do, actually we don't need a stabilizer for this one. Now what we wanna do is I'm gonna pull you with the broom. And so the same position that you were on the backboard, Max, I want you to get into that position while I pull you with the broom, okay? You ready to do it? You can do it. You can do it. All right, so get down like you're gonna deliver a stone. Hands on this. And then get into the slide position. And I will pull you. Heel all the way on your heel. All the weight on your heel. So you feel balanced. That's good. I'm gonna pull you around. And back. You have all the weight on the heel of your foot. Okay, I'll just try to find that balance. Okay, all right, stand up. All right, so we'll do that. We'll give you a little break. A couple deep breaths and we'll do it again. Remember, keeping that slider foot underneath your center. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'll hold it out here. All right. And get ready, and uh, let's go. Keep that foot underneath you. There we go. I see your heels off the ice. See? And that's a good point to make right there, is always be watching their heel. The tendency is to bring that heel up off the ice. That means the weight is not 
all on their foot solidly. So keep an eye on that. Let's try it again. You want to make sure, try to put all of your weight on the heel of your foot. And when you do that, your foot will slide into the correct position in order to hold all of your weight. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You have to stay down. Stay what? down. Yep. That's, that's it. You have to find that perfect balance. Put all the weight on your heel. Don't hold on to the broom. All the weight on your heel. All the weight on your heel. I did. Okay. And so that's another thing. Once they get into that position, I could feel that he started putting more weight onto the broom. We want all the weight to be on the heel of your foot. Let's try one more time. All right, you can do it. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, focus. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Great, 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 great. Yeah, good job. All right. So that was the second exercise that we do. Now the third exercise that we do, is we allow you to kick off from the hack and get into that position using the stabilizer instead of my broom. So do your normal delivery, okay. but try not to put any weight on this. Try to put all the weight on your slider. Now slide is just as far as you can go. There you go, there you go. Great job, great job. All right, let's try one more time. Let's try to keep the heel on the... Yeah, you did a very good job. I thought I saw it come up one time, one little time. <clears throat> there it is, there it is. Great job. Okay, so we'll do that a few more times with the stabilizer and then we'll start throwing some stones in our practice. But as you can see, we started very basically in the back of the house there against the backboard with them just standing in the uh, slide position so they can have a feel for that. And then we moved into me pulling them with a the broom so they don't have to push out from the hack. They can just focus on their slide, on sliding in that position. And then we transition into them using a stabilizer to push out from the hack and get into that slide position. So it's a progression there, which will create those muscle memories to make that transition from pushing out of the hack, getting into that slide position um, to really make it all come together.